Well, you know, we've done several troubleshooter stories over the years involving a local businessman, Agustin Balboa III. He runs an appliance repair business. But the stories have been about customer complaints, specifically that he collects money for parts, seldom delivers the parts, or gives his customers their money back. Today, a Rockport restaurant owner tells us his story about Balboa and his AAA restaurant services. Legitimate or not, it sounded like he's been in the business for, for a number of years. So he diagnosed the problem, said it needed a couple of parts. That's Zach Partenheim, owner, along with his wife Monica, of Rosita's Family Restaurant on Market Street in Rockport, telling us about the day Agustin Balboa III of AAA Restaurant Service walked in and offered his services. Partenheimer eventually hired him. He's been persistent, calling me for work, I said, you know, why not? Let's give this guy a shot. Balboa would order two burners for the restaurant's gas range. Total cost, $623 and change. And on February 1st, Partenheimer paid Balboa. With Oysterfest and spring break coming and increased business for the restaurant, he wanted to make sure the kitchen was ready. It was a Wednesday. He said he'd have the parts on Friday. And he said the parts were all under warranty and I'd get my money back for the parts. The troubleshooters have reported on customer complaints we received on Balboa as far back as 2010. We were in a Nueces County court in August 2018 when he was facing charges of exploitation of a minor, elderly, or disabled, accused of collecting money for parts and repair services, but never providing the services, a third-degree felony. His business used to be called A&B Appliance Repair. So when the 51-year-old appliance repairman stopped communicating with the Partenheimers, they started doing their own research on him. My wife Googled him and your news story from a couple years ago popped up and then that's kind of when we realized, okay, we're not getting our money back, this guy's. Since Tuesday, March 1st, the troubleshooters have called Balboa just about every day, giving him an opportunity to tell us his side of the story. He has not returned our calls. We went looking for the address he gave the Partenheimers. It doesn't exist. The Partenheimers say they contacted Rockport Police about this. So did we. They say it's an open investigation, so they can't comment. In the meantime, it'll be business as usual at Rositas and a harsh lesson learned. It's just disappointing when somebody comes in, looks you in the face, and lies to you. Well, we checked Balboa's background. He has several cases pending in Nueces County, but no convictions. We'll keep following this case and let you know what happens next. As always, whenever you have a story you'd like the troubleshooters to check out, all you have to do is send us an email at troubleshooters at kztv10.com.